pieces of aluminum seat post that have come out. This, for a lack of a better term, junk GT Outpost Trail was a bike that I bought as what was supposed to be a new, fun, interesting project for us to take on here in the Spindat Shed Shop. But, as you can see, and as you should know from the video I posted where I introduced, quote unquote, introduced this bike, we ran into a bit of a snag with the seat post situation. It's stuck. It's really stuck. I tried drilling a hole through it, getting it to break free that way. No dice. Tried uh, putting like a pipe wrench on it. No dice. Tried cutting it and then slotting it and breaking it away that way. No dice. So I shoved a couple screwdrivers into it, hoping that it would, uh, well, that it would eventually break the broken bits of aluminum seat post away from the frame and then I could just take it out piece by piece. What it ended up doing instead was piercing a hole through the seat tube of the frame. I deemed it unrepairable, unfixable, and garbage. So I threw it to the side. Now it's coming back from the dead because I've acquired some gallium, which is very easy to acquire, which apparently will melt, chew, eat, and destroy anything aluminum and will allow me to just break away all of those bits and kind of start over. So I have my gallium. It's currently sitting in a very small vat of hot water to bring it up to its melting point so that we can actually get the gallium into this this disposable syringe. That way we can apply it to our alloy seat posts, wait a little bit, and then, uh, well, with any luck, we can just break away all those little bits and then have a crappy GT outpost frame set with a pierced hole in the seat tube that we can do something fun with at some point. This is now liquid. It wasn't before, actually, wait. Oh. Pours out pretty quick. Okay. I think I'll just take some of this anyway. Thank you very much. Let's go wreak some havoc to some stubborn, stuck aluminum seat posts in a steel frame. This is important. It needs to be a steel frame because if you do this in an aluminum frame, well, it will, it'll eat your frame. So steel frame only. So you can see, so you can see a little bit of it wanting to escape where the frame was pierced. That's a good thing. That means I got it in fairly deep. I've got a little bit hanging out right here. We'll see what kind of destruction it causes. I threw a bunch down into this area. I hope it really takes care of like a lot of the really stuck disgustingness. I've also got some in this void as well. You can see some up at the top. I'm just kind of mostly Mostly curious. I'm mostly just kind of like curious to actually see some of the aluminum like get destroyed. But then at the same time, I want it to be effective at the same time. So it's like, well, I gotta see some, but I also want it to all fall apart. Apparently now you just wait maybe an hour to three hours. Let's see how we make out. So I disappeared for like two-ish, two and a half hours. Got a couple things done had to be away from it for as long as I could like patiently sustain. My impatience is on another level. So I came back to check it out and I figured a good measure of success would be like being able to just pull this steel little, uh, you know, piece of flathead screwdriver that I shoved in here to no real avail no success necessarily so it started to kind of like oh oh like pick away oh wow cool i uh okay well i was gonna say this wasn't working but there's a piece of um destroyed and like crippled broken aluminum that i was having a hard time getting out it seems to be coming out now because uh, as i was disappointed and i thought that this wasn't working i added a little bit of heat to get the gallium that had kind of solidified to uh, liquidize again. And uh, well, okay, I think we're on the right track. I'm gonna keep adding heat and see if we can kind of pull more and more of the seat post out. What a pleasant surprise.
Oh! Hey! I know that there's like, there's a fair bit of gallium in here that should just be like wreaking havoc on the aluminum in there, which means this should pull out easier now that I've heated it up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it again. Let's see if we get the rest of this thing out. Well, I assume this piece, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is gonna come off pretty easy. Ah, that's hot. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's hot. Ow, 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 ow. Look at that. They're just little pieces of sea post coming out. Some of this for sure is still putting up a fight. There's still like a good chunk of sea post in there that I don't know if it's like fully really weakened or not. The last little bit of post that's just like completely corroded rust, the, the chemical reaction that holds an aluminum C post into place, that's the last part of the post that's stuck in there. Everything else is like ready to be cleaned and ready for a new post. So I've got a pretty good puddle of gallium sitting there doing its job. Typically by the time it seems uh, that it hardens up, the chemical reaction has kind of happened and it's made that aluminum really brittle and I'll be able to kind of chisel it away. What I want to do is be able to use that pool the whole way around the post. So that's where things are gonna get interesting for sure because the frame is gonna need to stay vertical this way with the C-tube kind of as horizontal as I can get it so that the pool of gallium doesn't kind of go one way or the other, that way I don't lose it. And hopefully it has enough of its uh, chemical properties to go around the entire thing to have that chemical reaction happen, create that aluminum alloy, that brittle aluminum alloy, so that I can actually get the rest of this post out. In there, at the lower part of the tube, like this part, there's a pool of uh, liquidy metal doing its job, getting us seat postless. Pieces of aluminum seat posts that have come out. <laughs> I don't know that there's any more satisfying looking remnants of something that gave me such a hard time. I gave it the opportunity to kind of like sit, do its magic overnight, I pretty much got everything out of it. I'm just cleaning up the last little bit with this drill and, uh, well, a tube of sandpaper. We're gonna get a new seat post in this thing. I think this is it. There's gonna be a couple pieces that fall out, but I think all of that seat post is now deteriorated and gone. Yes! That is all that was left that wanted to just keep holding on. Look how thin it got. Uh, that little crack back into place there. Pretend like it never happened. Let's see if the seat post will go in it. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Yes! Yeah! GT! Okay. I'm like sitting here kind of in disbelief that this actually worked. So one thing I will say about this entire process, this is like, this is last resort. This is incredibly destructive. It's messy. Uh, it's not quick. Like I thought it would be maybe a little quicker. Uh, there's still some manual machining that needs to be done afterwards. This post was like, it, it did not want to come out. You saw how thin I had to shave that material. Eventually it just kind of like, it just gave up its strength, let go. I saw it fall into the C-tube and I said, oh, finally there's no material left anymore. I'll just give it a quick cleanup with sandpaper. Done, seat post will go in, beautiful. This process, courtesy of Roadhole's Instagram, if you didn't watch the video that I made about his bike, you should because it's like 10 times cooler than this. And uh, this build is now inspired by the Road Holes Rodriguez. I hope it did a good enough job of getting all the gallium out of here by spraying it with the hose and then hitting it with the air compressor and messing with it all and then spraying it with undercoating. Uh, otherwise, this seat post will be completely unsafe to ride. Mm -hmm.